This is how you ingest an assignment from Google Classroom and attach a rubric so that you can grade it digitally. You go up to Add-ons. Now, I already have Dr. Bliss installed. If you didn't already have Dr. Bliss, you go to Manage Add-ons and add it to your spreadsheet. Now I'm going to go to Launch. Because Dr. Bliss was not actually created by Google, you get this warning message to tell you it was not created by Google, and you have to say, don't show this warning again, usually several times. Our mode today will be to ingest from Google Classroom. Choose that. Let's select our class. In this case, we're going to use my sixth period English class. And we have to select the assignment, which in this case will be the I am part. And then Dr. Puss has to think about that for a few Now it gives you the option to only ingest files that are already turned in. I always ignore that and choose ingest assignment. Now it looks at first here as though nothing's actually happening, but you notice we've got a new tab down at the bottom. That's where things are going to get exciting. When you ingested from Google Classroom. And usually when I'm running this, I'll actually be running four or five spreadsheets at once, and I'll be ingesting each of my different periods at the same time in different windows. So while one window is thinking about it, I'll be giving directions to the next one. Aha! Behold! The student work has appeared! This is great. I'll be blurring out the student names and identifying information on this, so my apologies for all the stuff that's grayed out. But what you see in the left side is the student's name, their email, their file key, file name, and a link to their work, etc. And once again, I tell Dr. Bliss not to show this warning again. And we get the assignment tools panel, which can have some handy things on it. But what we're really going to look at is attaching a Gubric. Now, to use Gubric, you also need the Gubric extension installed for you. But in addition to having the extension installed, you will also need to attach Gubric, which is a rubric that you already created somewhere in your Google Drive. Now, I already created mine in this other tab over here. It's a separate spreadsheet. It has some of the things we were looking for in this IM poem and some criteria. Because I edited it recently, Google puts it near the top of my recent ones. If I didn't see it here, I could also click on my drive and go looking for it by clicking on the spreadsheet button. Since it is recent, I will go ahead and select it. Scroll down. Now, if you want to take the time to teach your students how to use the Gubric extension themselves, you can choose to make the rubric viewable to them, allow self and peer assessment, etc. I'm actually going to uncheck all of those because my students don't have email access anyway. And then I say attach. This takes a few minutes. And at this point, you're just kind of wondering, you know, why didn't I just grade this in Google Classroom the way it was already? And part of that's, yes, you can do that. You can go to Google Classroom and put in a grade. However, you can't put in a rubric score. You can't, you can only give a holistic grade in Google Classroom. Um, with Gubric, I'll be able to read my students' work and grade them on separately on the different criteria on the rubric. And then Gubric will paste that rubric at the bottom of the student work in their Google Doc plus my comments when I'm done. So you can see over here, this little progress bar, it's tagging the files with the rubric to let them know that it has that. And when it's all done, I'll be able to click Assess Document and get started on the grading piece. Barely see it down here. Gubric has added another rubric scores tab to my spreadsheet. And that's where the scores will go. They will end up up here after I grade each assignment. Once again, we'll tell Gubric 
not to show us this again. And this spreadsheet here will have the different scores for each student, any comment I left them. And then I can use spreadsheet functions like average or sum to either add up their total points or average their points for the rubric. Let's go look at how this looks for one of my students. Hit assess document. The rubric extension kicks in. And now we have the aspect, different aspects of the rubric displayed up here at the top. I can click on scores for anyone I like. And after I click submit, I can choose to also email the scores to the student and also to auto advance on submit. I'm not going to submit this one because I'm not actually responsible for grading it. This is work that my student intern assigned to our classes. But from here, I can go to the next student when I'm ready. Again, the rubric pops in. And I can click the uh, list menu of names to jump to any student in the list I need to at any time if I need to skip around for some reason. And that's basically how Gubrick and Doctopus work together with Google Classroom to bring in student work and then also score it on a rubric.